Football 605 here with Coach uh, Jeffsky with uh, Augustana Vikings. You're out here at the Legends football camp. Boy, what a great turnout today. It always is. It's such a great event for the city of Sioux Falls and for football in general in the state of South Dakota. So we're just thrilled that we can host it and be a part of it. You know, isn't it great to look out there on the field and see some of these kids? Probably some of these kids will be playing at Augustana or for you if you aren't here someday. That's right. Well, I hope I'm here, and uh, <laughs> we'd certainly like to get the best and the brightest to continue to grow. It's just all about the game, you know, and teach them the right way and, and teach them the, what teamwork means and respect. And, and when you get legends in, like Michael Irvin and Chad Greenway, to come in and, and share their message of how they got there, uh, it, it's just powerful, really powerful for not only the young people but the parents in the stands too. Well, and it is powerful, but you see all these guys out here in the yellow shirts, your players, and that is just as bit a powerful or maybe even more because these guys are from their hometowns. They uh, idolize them at that level, and they get to see them a lot more often. I mean, not to downplay the pros. I mean, they're incredible, but, but these guys have a huge amount of uh, influence on these kids. Without doubt. Some of our kids actually were at this camp, so it, it's really special for them to come full circle. We're a big servanthood football team. We want to pay it forward and pay it back for people that did things for us, and our kids are a prime example of that. Uh, someone puts you in the position you're in now, make sure you give thanks. So when I ask for volunteers, I actually got to turn guys away on our football team, and that's special for me. How many years have you been involved in this? This is my third. This is my third one, and, and it just keeps getting Getting better. Sanford does such a tremendous job in partnering with their partners and uh, the service of the kids throughout the community and all the sports is great. Obviously my, t my part is football, uh, but I don't think there's anywhere in the country that does it quite like this. It's very unique and special. It is really neat. We were out at soccer this morning. They had about twice the, as big a turnout as they expected there. What's the, uh, this turnout here in relation to what you've seen in the past? Well, we're, we're going to be right on pace. You know, the people usually come late, but I'm guessing it'll be somewhere between 220 and 260 kids, and we never know. You know, it's a free camp, so they show up, and last year we had 254. Uh, I'm expecting somewhere around 250 to 270 this year. That's awesome. Well, I know you're going to have to get going, but I have two more questions for yes, you. Yes, sir. Um, what do you have coming in uh, for new talent this year coming into your football team? We had a really good recruiting class again uh, with 27 kids that, that we think are going to be future starters for us. Uh, you know, it's not just roster gap spots, but actual potential play guys. And we're a young football team. 78 guys on our team are sophomore or younger, so um, they're going to fit right into the youth movement that's going on. But we also have some savvy veterans that have played a lot of snaps. So we're really excited about these recruits and redshirting every one of them, hopefully, so that they get that year of experience. The speed of the game, the knowledge of the game, um, and we're really pleased with our red shirts from last year. So we're excited about this class. And uh, second question, projection for uh, what's going to happen this coming year. I mean, you really got some good attention last year all over. Um, what do you think uh, you got coming up? Well, I think we're on a steady improvement as a football team. Our expectations are very high. We keep that internal. You know, they don't talk about record. You know, I really don't. You know, the people that get caught up in the record usually are disappointed at the end. We're going to talk about one game at a time, getting better, not as a cliche, but really as we need to improve every day. I will say this. We're a better football team coming out of this spring than we were in game 11 last year, and we were a pretty decent football team last year. So our kids are excited. They're ready. Um, my expectations are extremely high, and we'll take it one day at a time and one week at a time, and, and I think we'll be there at the end, and that's the goal. All the great coaches I've ever known have never really talked about winning, but winning process. That sounds exactly what you're doing. Absolutely. It all is a process, and I'm really pleased with our staff and our kids of how we're going about it. And anybody who's kept their eye on Augustana football knows that it's improved and it's better, uh, and, and our best is yet to come. Uh, and these recruiting classes are proof of that. Uh, kids are comfortable with what we're doing. They know what we're doing, and now the effort and the finish is what's important. So the process is, is what it's all about. Well, Coach, thanks very much for your time. Thanks uh, especially for working with these kids, and uh, we can't wait to get out here and watch your team perform uh, this fall. Yeah, we all should volunteer more, shouldn't we? It makes for a great day. God bless you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.